I can't stand this waiting, Whitney. I mean, Ethan was all set to choose between Gwen and me, but he said he didn't want to do it without both of us here. Well, Gwen can't help it if her father had a heart attack, Teresa. I know she had to leave. And I hope her father is all right. I'm just saying that it would be no, easy. I'm just saying that I wouldn't be so anxious to hear what Ethan has to say. You still think he's going to choose Gwen, don't you? Yeah, I do. I mean, if he chooses you, don't you realize what that's going to do to his family? They're going to be torn apart, and Ethan, Ethan's going to be miserable. Is that what you really want? I don't want Ethan to be unhappy. I just want him to follow his heart. And if he does follow his heart, you really believe that he's going to choose you? Honestly? Putting my dreams aside? I saw the way Ethan looked at Gwen just now. He loves her. You're right, he's gonna marry her and I'm just gonna have to find a way to go on living. You know, this is, this is just unbelievable. You keep going on about how wonderful it is to be in love, but all I ever see is pain. Why do you keep putting yourself through this? I can't help the way I feel, Whitney. All right, well, you know what? You can just count me out. But we made a deal. If Ethan said that he loves me, you would have to tell Chad how you feel about him. Well, it looks like I'm not going to have to uphold my end of the deal now. Besides, I wouldn't anyway. Not after seeing the pain that you're in, okay? There's no way I would want to put myself through this kind of agony. You can't run from love, Whitney. I know how you feel about Chad, no matter how much you deny it. Teresa. I don't believe that people don't have control over their feelings. And I don't want to be in love, okay? I've seen what it's done to you, and I don't want any part of it. But if, if your heart tells you that you want to be with Chad, don't you have to listen? No. No, absolutely not. I mean, why would a sane person go out of their way to suffer the way that you have suffered? You're right. I have suffered. And I know it's crazy, but even with all the pain that I've been through, I am still glad that I told Ethan I love him. Even if he comes back in here and tells you he's still going to marry Gwen? Yes. I would give my soul to have Ethan tell me that he wants to marry me. And I know that he cares about me, but not as much as he loves Gwen. I lost. Ethan is going to choose Gwen, but I don't regret at least trying. Teresa, I brought your clothes. The doctor said you can go home. Mom, will you tell Whitney? Tell her what? You have to convince her that it is worth everything to have love. I mean, didn't you love Papa? And wasn't it worth everything? Every obstacle you had to overcome to be together? Shh, Teresita. What your father and I had was very special. I wish everyone could have our happiness. Nina, some obstacles just can't be overcome. Teresa, let's just go, okay? You can't keep letting this happen to yourself. My car's out front, so let's get you home. Ethan, I told you it's not Please, necessary. Please, Pilar. Let me do this. Fine. Yeah, wait. Let me talk to you for a second. Yeah. So, uh, how's she doing now? Well, she's heartbroken and miserable. But she says she still doesn't regret loving Ethan. How's he? <laughs> Just as miserable as she is. I mean, either way he goes on this, he's going to wind up hurting somebody. Yeah, Teresa. You know, it just amazes me what some people will do in the name of love. Ethan's still in there. I think we know what he's decided.